Well, it's about time we discuss the upcoming video game, Retro Mania Wrestling. It's a video game that's going to be released on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. It is the official sequel to that amazing WWF arcade game from back in the day, WrestleFest. Do you remember that? Um, it, there was WrestleFest and there were superstars. A lot of people have been clamoring for an arcade-type game release since then. And there's been a couple of attempts, but this is the first official sequel to that game. And I am super pumped for it. And boy, are they doing a tremendous job at kayfabe in that release date. Uh, they are definitely want to uh, generate as much interest into this project as possible so they can get the word out there as much. Uh, people are dying to get that release date. I cannot wait to play this game. Like I said, it is the official sequel to WWF WrestleFest, the arcade game from back in the day. Um, I am under the About section right now on their website, RetromaniaWrestling.com. I will link their YouTube channel and the uh, website in the description below so you can go check it out. I was, I was talking to a few people the other day about various wrestling games from back in the day or whatever, and I mentioned about this one coming up. And I was surprised by the amount of wrestling fans out there that had not heard of this game. So in the interest of hopefully getting a couple more people, getting the word out to even one or two more people, hopefully a lot more than that, but hopefully more people discover this game because it looks like it's going to be spectacular. I'll read the about section here so you know uh, exactly what I'm talking about. Retromania Wrestling is the official sequel to the classic arcade game WrestleFest that was released in 1991 by uh, Technos of Japan. Retromania Wrestling will be a pick up and play arcade wrestling game with beautiful 2D stripe it's. I'm not the best reader. <laughs> Incredible backgrounds and fast paced arcade style gameplay. 16 unique, distinct playable wrestlers at launch, adding more post launch via DLC. Uh, well, I'll go over the roster here because I think they have the roster here somewhere, maybe. Two to eight players locally. Online, TBD, several match types, including one-on-one, -on -one, tag team matches, steel cage matches, which I think they have the old blue steel cage in the game, which is fantastic. I'm, I, they might have both, but I think I saw a picture of the blue cage. I might be wrong. We'll see. Uh, and Battle Royal Story Mode and, ten, and the 10 pounds of gold. Ring entrances with entrance music, multiple entrance attires for each wrestler. Strategic gameplay that is easy to pick up and play. Beautiful 2D pixel art. Uh, animated strip, it's with over 700 frames of animation and animated background. Crowd chants that react to the action on screen. More features will be added. Um, okay, so let's go over, let's see what else here is on the website. We got the about, let's, okay, let's uh, check out the roster here. They got Road Warrior Animal, Austin Idol, Road Warrior Animal, unfortunately, sad, sad news. Passed away yesterday. So I'll just take a second there. My thoughts and prayers with the family and friends of Road Warrior Animal. Both Legion of Doom, Road Warriors now have passed on. So hopefully they're together once again. Uh, so Austin Idol, Big Stevie Cool from the Blue World Order, ECW. The Blue Meanie, also from the Blue World Order, ECW. Brian Myers who um, uh, we just released from WWE. Chris Bay, who's an independent wrestler. I believe he got added from like a voting poll. It says he will be available as DLC shortly after lunch, as well as Brian Myers is now in TNA, I believe, or Impact Wrestling. We got Col Boom Boom, Colt Cabana. What's up, Colt? I've got to work with Colt a couple of times, actually, by work. I mean, like, film, referee. I don't wrestle. But, uh, <laughs> so, Colt, amazing dude. Amazing dude. Uh, Road Warrior Hawk. Uh, Hollywood Nova, Blue World Order ECW, Jeff Cobb, uh, Johnny Retro, who's John Morrison, who's a uh, WWE superstar right now, uh, Matt Cardona, uh, Cardona, Zack Ryder, who's an AEW, Nick Aldis, the NWA heavyweight champion, got to film him in January, he was here just before COVID hit, uh, wrestled in New Brunswick, uh, the province over from me, uh, Nikolai, uh, Nikita Koloff, sorry, uh, Tommy Dreamer, Warhouse, Zack Sabre Jr., if you're not familiar with him, he, he's a big star over in the UK, uh, wrestled in the first Cruiserweight Classic, uh, more wrestlers could be added. So, that's the roster there, um, let's see, referees and announcers, we got Ian 
I'm not going to attempt to pronounce his last name. I don't know where he's from. I don't recognize him. I, maybe AEW. Not 100% sure. Colt Cabana is also an announcer. So that's very cool. Wait. Yeah, the ringside announcers. Your ring announcer, Jeff Schneerinoff. Man, these people have some crazy last names. Uh, referees, Ryan. I would, I, I've refereed a fair bit of matches. I would love to be in this game. <laughs> Ryan Torok and Pat the Savino. Could you make names easier for me to pronounce? I'm horrible at it. Horrible. Um, game modes. We got story mode. The story mode will start Johnny Retro, who's John Morrison in WWE, formerly Johnny Nitro. He had a lot of names. Uh, Johnny Impact. Johnny World. <laughs> Johnny Mundo. Uh, throughout the story, you'll run into several wrestlers, including Nick, Dal Nick Aldis, the Road Warriors, Austin Idol, the Blue World Order, Coke Cabana, and more including some of the wrestlers from the arcade hit Matt Mania. Uh, without giving too much away, you'll have to play through it. Johnny Retro is coming off an injury and finds himself at Stevie Richards Fitness before getting back into the ring. Uh, there are twists and turns, and you'll have to make some decisions along the way. You'll have to take down any and all comers in the ring, too. Ten pounds of gold. Can you take down Nick Aldis and capture ten pounds of gold? He's got to be like Mike Tyson of this game, right? From Mike Tyson's Punch-Out!, the game mode is a traditional ladder match mode where you go through the wrestlers of Retromania Wrestling one by one to get a shot at the gold. When you complete your run and win the gold, that wrestler will be the NWA champion for the next time you play. That's really cool. Uh, beyond that, you'll be able to defend championship belts and exhibition, and wrestlers will be spotting the titles on their way to the ring. In this mode, the order of wrestlers will be determined on who you're making your run to the championship with. Match types. Uh, so match type single tag team six man tag eight man tag three way four way retro rumble match options elimination steel cage and tornado now it looks like it's the old style cage like not the old style I guess like the mesh style cage but it looks blue I don't know if they have the blue one in it or not like I said earlier I thought I read something about that uh, but maybe not arenas here are just here are just some of the arenas that you will see in the Retromania Wrestling. They're just what we've announced so far, so be sure to check back for more. There are several that will not we will not be revealing until after the game launches and adding them here later because you're going to have to unlock them in the game. Very cool. No spoilers. Love that. Uh, Universal Wrestling College and a high school gym. Love that. We've all done a lot of indie wrestling in high school gyms. I've done a lot of filming of indie wrestling in high school gyms and refereeing of uh, wrestling in high school gyms. Um, the high school gym description, there isn't a basketball game going on instead of brawl. Your opponent, uh, instead brawl with your opponent in the ring and on the court. Uh, Austin Idols Universal Wrestling College. You've seen the commercials on episodes of NWA Power. And now Austin Idol's Universal Wrestling College is making its way to Retromania Wrestling. Do you have what it takes to become the next great wrestling superstar? We got Tommy Dreamer's House of Hardcore. Absolutely love it. Uh, it's time to get extreme. Tommy Dreamer's House of Hardcore will bring the pain. Here comes the pain. And it's in an arena that you'll come across in story mode. The HOH television title can be defended in here too. Amazing. So I wonder if that's the ECW arena, or that's what they were going for. I love the old style guardrails. Very cool. Um, next one, Japan. Retromania Wrestling is going international. Lace up your boots and step into the ring in Japan. No oh, man, there's a lot. NWA 70s. NWA 70 is one of three NWA arenas in Retromania Wrestling. Take, uh, take your opponent down in front of the rapid NWA fans and get yourself one step closer to the 10 pounds of gold. The old blue mats on the floor, too. The other one's got some black ones. The high school gym is just a basketball court with no mats. Man, I love everything about this. I'm not kidding. NWA Power, Into the Fire, Retromania Wrestling. You'll be able to step into the ring and go for the gold on NWA Power with the National Wrestling Alliance being one of the featured promotions in the game. It's time to go retro. Wait, where is that one? Oh, it's got it's a studio. That's awesome. Oh, it does have the blue cage. All right. Or at least this picture is of the blue cage. Pro Wrestling Tees Warehouse. That's right. Some of the action is about to go down inside the Pro Wrestling Tees Warehouse in Chicago. Not only that, but you'll run into the owner of Pro Wrestling Tees, Ryan Barkin, in the game's story mode. Uh, Retromania Wrestling. It's the home 
of uh, it's the home arena for Retromania wrestling. Whether it's a one-on-one -on -one encounter, some tag team action inside the confines of the cage, or in another type of match, it's time for you to take down any and all challengers. These are so cool, so cool, man. There's two more. The ballroom. Things are about uh, the ballroom. You think this is Hammerstein? Like it's supposed to be the ball. Uh, things are about to get extreme when you wrestle in the ballroom. Uh, will you be able to dive off the cage? War houses hell. Wow, that is an awesome. Man, you guys gotta go check this out. RetromaniaWrestling.com slash arenas. Uh, with a skeleton band, mosh pit, flame barriers, and a dead and a dead crowd, things are about to heat up in War Houses Arena. Title belts. We got wait. I didn't open title belts. Hold on. Oh, I can't. It just tells me the title belts. I did not. I'm confused. I saw something pop up there. Title belts. Okay, will you be able to create custom championships just like with a potential creator wrestle option? This will be dependent on if the game has enough support post launch. What title? Man, this game is definitely going to get the support. Has to. Has to. I cannot see this game not not doing well it's gonna blow expectations out of the water the nwa heavyweight especially with no 2k21 coming out this year this is gonna be amazing the nwa heavyweight championship the nwa tag titles host of hardcore television championship and more to be announced those are the belts that are going to be in the game will champion world champions have their belts in the way to the ring yes can you defend an exhibition yes wrestling promotions uh host of hardcore and the NWA, doo, 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 sorry, House of Hardcore is in the game. And uh, NWA National Wrestling Alliance. Let's see what the news updates are. What is, oh, I already, read, I already gave you all that info. They added Matt Cordoa. Cro <laughs> Horrible with names. Matt Cordona and Brian Myers are coming to Retromania Wrestling, which is very cool. Zack Ryder's in AEW, Brian's in Impact Wrestling. I think it's amazing how they let, like, those rosters, those companies, let these guys do this type of stuff outside of uh, their contracts. or how, However it works, I think it's fantastic that they can be in this game. I think it's fantastic that Nitro, or John Morrison, is still in the game. He'll always be Johnny Nitro to me. Giveaway. They have a giveaway section to enter, follow us them at retro studios on twitter instagram youtube facebook and retweet the pin tweet and tag a friend would love an nwa shirt that is so cool uh so yeah that's the uh there's no release date yet oh it's it's got merch you can buy the retro mania wrestling bwo for 24.99 dreamer road warriors and the retro mania I, i'm assuming they're t-shirts it doesn't actually say at the top there Oh, down the bottom, WrestleMania Wrestling shirts from Pro Wrestling Tees. Man, that's so cool. I want a WrestleMania Wrestling t-shirt. I'm going to have to order some of these. <laughs> these are fantastic. They're only $24.99. The only problem with that is I live in Canada. Shipping sucks Um, to get stuff here to the East Coast of Canada. $24.99, no problem at all. But I'm going to pay that again for shipping, which is brutal. Still very cool. Highly recommend it. <laughs> um... We got a contact us section. More. Pre-order. Pre-order now. Pre-order special uh, special pre-order prices. Pre-order Retromania Wrestling now at a discounted price. Retromania Wrestling is now available for pre-order. You can pre-order the game on Nintendo Switch and PC, Steam. Due to policies from Sony and Microsoft, we are unable to list the game for pre-order at this time for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. They will be made available for pre-order as we get closer to launch. Retromania Wrestling is the official sequel to the 1991 arcade classic WrestleFest and features wrestlers such as the Road Warriors, Tommy Dreamer, Johnny Retro, Nick Aldis, and more. Coming soon in 2020. Okay, it says it's coming soon in 2020. It's September 24th right now. So we got October, November, December, three months. You think it's going to come out for a Christmas release? Probably right that that'll be the thing. Everybody will want it's it, uh, everybody will want this game for Christmas, right? Okay, probably. I hope so. I hope there's no more delays. I hope it comes out really soon. I would love to wake up tomorrow and it'd be like, hey, hey, this game is released. Cannot wait. So that's all the information I have right now 
on the Retromania game that's coming out. I am super excited, super pumped for this game. Um, yeah, so check it out, WrestleManiaWrestling.com, and I'll link their YouTube channel in the description as well. And that's about it. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. This is one game I'll definitely be getting. Uh, I'm going to pre-order it for sure, and uh, I'll be playing it day one, or as soon as it comes out, as soon as possible, I'll be playing this game all day. Cannot wait. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.